Naitwa Justina Siokao madam 2020 na mnajua mimi ni mtu ambaye nasemanga ukweli. Mimi hakuna siku nimeshaiamka nikaongea uongo. Na kwa wakati kama huu nataka kuongea kama msanii wa gospel, kama prophetess, nataka kuongea kama mama. Prostitution yenye inaendelea Kenya imezidi. The cheating which is going on must stop. The killing which is going on in the Airbnb ama mnasema ni Airbnb ama ni Airbnb whatever the saga of Airbnb it is too much it is so sad that every morning every minute we are getting news of people killing each other couples wanapatana wakichit wanauana i'm so sad i'm so sad as a parent na ninaomba kanisa kanisa tuombe hii ni hewa ya shetani shetani ameleta hewa ya usherati tuombe hiyo usherati ikufe iishe katika jina la Yesu wakati watu walikuja na nyonga na miambili. mnakumbuka niliaddress nation na nikasema watu waache kunyonga na miambili. na watu watoe uchafu kwa social media na Mungu ni mwema kwamba serikali ilipeleka hiyo maneno kwa bunge na ikamaliza hiyo kunyonga na miambili ikaisha na wakati kunyonga imeisha mnaona saa hii kile kimeamka ni, ni website ni watu wanakatiana kwa mtandao website sijui inaitwa Nairobi website ama inaitwa wapi ama ni Tinder ama ni wapi watu wanatoana kwa mtandao na ndio watoto wetu wanauao wasichana ambao mnapenda soft life mnatuonyesha pesa on social media Mnatuonyesha vile mko na pesa kumbe amuna ni za kutumiwa na mtu hata umujui. Please our girls. Please please our girls, our university students. Our students. Our children, please praise the Lord. Our daughters. Please if you don't know anybody, don't date somebody you don't know. Don't allow yourself to lower your standards. Niliwaambia kunyonga ina lower standard. Na wasichana wakasikia wa TikTok ikaisha hewa ya kunyonga. Saa hii kitu ina lower standard ya wanawake Kenya ni kwenda kuona mtu kwa Airbnb Air whatever. Kwenda kuona mwanaume umujui, ujaionana na yeye kwa sababu anakutumia tips hapa kule. Hata kama umaskini unakumaliza, tafadhali usikubali kujiuza na uji. Unajiuza na bei ya uji. And we are losing girls who are pretty and beautiful and young because of kudanganywa na social media mudanganywa kuona ni kama eh, lavish life is everything it is not everything dying is the baddest thing bible inasema ya kwamba don't kill i don't know where these men are coming from those who are killing committing righteous ni righteous ama wanasema nini mtu anatoa kichwa ya mtoto wa mtu apeleke wapi Mtu anatoa sehemu ya mtu apeleke wapi? Eh? Ni wapi mtu anaweza peleka sehemu ya mtu ya ndani? Ni wapi anaweza peleka kama si kwa shetani? Kama si kwa kingdom ya madhibao ya shetani? Kama si kwa muganga? Please our girls. Hata kama unataka pesa namna gani, omba mzazi wako na kwa wazazi ambao mko affected watoto wenu wamekufa. Kama ka, ka, kanyari pasta tunakupenda sana pasta na tunakuombea na, na mama yako pasta tafadhali tafadhali let us be able to talk to the people wenye wameluzu watoto wao na usihukumu mzazi kuna wazazi ambao wako na watoto wameongelesha wameongelesha wasiki tafadhali ukikutana na mtoto wa mtu ambaye anafanya vitu hizo za website kukutanisha watu ama unaambiwa na marafiki zako enda ukutane na mtu nimekutafutia hook up una hook up na mtu kwa online aje Mtu ujai mujua, mtu muoni. How can you allow yourself to get money from somebody you don't know? Ulitumiwa ngiri tano. Sasa unaitishwa ngiri 50 kwa lodging. He? Eh? Ulitumiwa ngiri 50, unaitishwa ngiri 500. Let us not lower our standards, Kenyan women. Kenyan girls, we love you so much. You are so young, you are so good looking. You don't need to lower your standard by going to see somebody because of 
Najua kuko najua. Na kila mtu kimemramba Kenya. Kila mtu ako na shida. Sio wewe peke yako. Na kuna wasichana wananjiuza na miatano. Hata 1000. Wanaenda kuona mtu wa wamujui. Unasikia mtoto ameoka kwenda Mombasa kuona mtu wa juu. Tafadhali wasichana wetu. Tafadhali hata kama kuna shida gani. Usikubali kwenda kujipeana kwa mtu mujui. Usikubali hata kujipeana. Start working. Start doing something. Hata kama kani uku Kenya hakuna kazi. Start doing a business. Start doing something. I remember I've worked even a whole year with my kid in my back. Nimesha ifanya kazi na mtoto wangu. Kwa mgongo. 2014 yote. Nikiangaika na mtoto nikimpeba kwa mgongo. Nisi kukatika mahali. Sahai wakati muna niona nikiimba. Hakuna mahali inajiandikanga nimesha iteseka. Kuna wakati wa majaribu. Kuna wakati ya una pesa na kuna wakati wa kupata. Kwa nini uoge hivyo vyote. Umeoga na mkoro ogo hiyo yote. Umeoga hivyo vyote. Umeoga umekua light skin. Alafu wende ukawawe. Just like that. You end up your life. After kukua smart sasa. Ndo unaenda unakufa. Please. Young girls. You want money. You want good life. Work with your own hands. Tafuta pesa na mkono yako. Mimi ni mzazi. Na hakuna kitu inaniuma kama kuona wasichana wenye wanakufa. Inaniuma ni kama wasichana wangu. Wakati niliona hiyo scarlet wau. Amekufa msichana mrembo. Supu smart. Uyo msichana I know she is worth millions. I know bangi yake saa hii kwenye hiko, hiko na pesa nyingi sana. Lakini alikufa kwa sababu ya kitu kidogo kabisa. Kudanganywa kidogo. Kidogo tu. Mtu mwenye ni mstajiri, msichana alikuwa na gari yake, msichana alikuwa na mali yake. Don't let people. Ati udanganywa na mtu, uambiwe, hee, enda tu leo. Uyo msichana alitoka siyo kemau, akaenda baka roisambu. Ukiwa tu meacha andi yako mali yako. And yako maybe alijua tu meenda kwa duka. The next day ni maiti. Tafadhali. Tupunguze kilio kwa wazazi ambao wame sacrifice kukusomesha wewe. Wazazi ambao wame jinyima upate wewe. Najua kuna wasichana wanasemanga hee ujui nafanya umalaya kwa nini. Kwa sababu kuna wakati ni liandresu umalaya. Na was, watu waka, waka ni kamia against sana hapa Kenya. Lakini watu wengi wanasema hee unajua na juzanga kwa nini. Mbona unakasirika na unaona watoto wanawawa. Kukua na shida si kumanisha tuingie sisi wote club tukajiuze. Tafadhali wasichana. Na hata wanaume. Wale ambao unapata ex wako wako mahali. Na unamuwa. Unamuwa kwa nini? Si ukubali kuachika. Kama umeachwa na mtu kubali kuachika. Na ukikuta bibi yako anaanya. Tafadhali wachana na yeye. Separate. Me I was married. And my marriage took one year. And because it could not withstand. I I, I decided to separate, to come out. Eri nikaya hapa inje nikiwa divorce. Nionekane, nitharauliwe, nifanyue chochote. Lakini, nisiende nikawe mtoto wa mtu. Nisiende nikafanyie mtu wa, mtoto wa mtu madhara yoyote. You don't need to kill somebody. You don't need to kill somebody. Ukiona mtu anahanya, wewe ni buwana, umekuta bibi yako na mwanaume. Taf, na mwanaume. Kwanza inaitwa ex, as ex-wife. Leo nimeona bwana ameenda amedunga dunga bibi na kijana mahali. Kwingine unasikia kuna wengine wameuana wame, wame na huko sijui nioma beyama ni wapi. Tafadhali stop the killing. Kuwa mtu aimalizi shida, utaingia kamete, utakaa kukula cabbage miaka yako yote na utafanywa kinyonga, utafanywa mada hata wewe. Hakuna kitu mbaya kama hiyo. Biblia inasema don't kill. Please our Kenyan men, stop killing. Stop killing. Even the Nigerians who are listening to me, if you are a foreigner and you are in Kenya, we love you foreigners. But don't kill our daughters. We love our daughters so much. Don't kill our daughters. Go do your right shows in your country. Na kama hao wa Nigeria wanaendelea kukuja hapa Kenya, na wanaendelea kuwa wasichana, eri warudishwe kwa hao, wadipotiwe wote. Wadipotiwe. Kama ndiyo wanaita wasichana, if there those incidents ziko na wanigerias, wenye wanauwa na wanachukua kichwa, then they are, they, they are supposed to, serekali chukue atua. Na tukona na president ambawa meokoka. Tafadhali atutaki usherati Kenya. President Ruto, 
atutaki usherati Kenya please please atutaki usherati Kenya let it be a rule in Kenyan government that prostitution ukipatikana ukifanya prostitution eh ufungwe kuliko watu waendelee kuuana hizo wakati tuliongea kuhusu watu TikTok wananyonga mulifunga kunyonga kwa TikTok and thank god because of the government of Kenya wakati nilikuwa naongelelea watu wananyonga TikTok na miambili. watu walikuwa wanafikiri nime nimegoroka nimechizi mimi sijachizi hakuna kitu mbaya kama usiku ama mtoto wako uko na yeye wewe unaona mtoto wako anaangalia mumama akifanya sijui what na saa hii mnaona kuna hizo website wasichana wamejituma wakiwa uchi wananunuliwa na miatano ngiri moja utakuta hata huyo msichana aliuawa Roisambu hata maybe alikuwa amepewa ngiri moja ama ngiri mbili imemtoa sio kimao mahali uhuba ni angiri. analipiwa uba akapewa ngiri tafadhali wasichana be very careful be very cautious kula maharagwe kula chochote wazazi wako wana provide if you cannot be able to sustain yourself in town go home if you are in university and you don't have upkeep money talk to your parents stop chasing wind this is chasing wind and the socialites in Kenya they need to come down you need to come down kuna ma socialite wanapoteza watoto wetu wana strip naked every day na wanafanya watoto waone kama hiyo ndiyo mtindo na hiyo ndiyo maisha na wanaonyesha magari makubwa na nyumba kubwa which they don't have they are in rental houses those people are showing you big cars they don't have even a car they hire those cars to do videos they hire those houses to do videos na wewe msichana kwa sababu umesikia hii kitu inaitwa kenembe ama inaitwa nini hiyo kitu i don't know whatever nyako sijui anaitanga nini wewe ambaye uko hapo unasikia ati hii kitu eh? inaleta pesa na kuna vijana wanajiuza vijana hii round hatujui ni kijana tutasikia ameuawa tafadhali msijiuze hata mumama akikununua na pesa mingi aje ujui kwa nini amekupea hiyo pesa anaweza kukupatia ili akakumalizie kwa room please our young people you need to work you need to go and work work with your own hands ama pastor I'm a believer, I'm a Christian who does not love sin. I don't like prostitution which is going on. Ingekuwa kitu mzuri tungekuwa tunaipigia makofi. Kama inaleta kifo iachwe. Hizo ma Airbnb. Hizo kama zimekuja na ziko na ushetani. Tunatangaza katika jina la Yesu kifo. Tunakataa kifo Kenya katika jina la Yesu. Hiyo wingu na upepo wa kifo tunasimamisha katika jina la Yesu tunakataa roho ya umalaya katika jina la Yesu tunakataa roho ya, ya, ya cheating ya umalaya kwa ndoa katika jina la Yesu Yesu simama Kenya Yesu simama Kenya simamisha Kenya tunakataa mauaji katika jina la Yesu we come against every spirit of death which is suffering in our country We declare this is a year of blessing. This is a year that we are going to overflow. We are going to overtake in Jesus name and to take dominion. We refuse to die this year in Jesus name. Roya kifo shindo katika jina la Yesu. Rakata labozai. Katika jina la Yesu. Mungu fariji familia ambao watu wao wamepitia katika hii janga. Wale ambao watu wao wamekufa Mungu fariji wao watu. Fariji wazazi, fariji ndugu zao, fariji mabwana, fariji, fariji wasichana hawa wazazi wao. Oh my God, remember mercy to those children. Oh God, remember these girls, oh God. Oh my God, even those who are in traps we don't know tonight and today morning, oh God. Even today in the daytime. Wale wasichana saa hii wamekidnapiwa wako katika mikono ya watu wabaya. Mungu waokoe katika jina la Yesu. Mungu waokoe katika jina la Yesu. Mungu waokoa hao wanawake ambao wametrapiwa wenye hatujui saa hizi wako wapi. Katika jina la Yesu. Tunakataa kifo January Kenya. Tunakataa kifo katika jina la Yesu. Wachungaji tushikane kuomba. Tusihukumu kila kitu kama yes dhambi imetendeka. Na hii mambo inaendelea. Tafadhali wachungaji tusimame kwa maombi. Tusimame kwa maombi juu ya wanarika wetu. Mungu awabariki sana.
na Mungu aponye ndoa zetu.